Hey guys, haven't done a video in a while, so just wanted to give you an update where we're at now. It's the sun's out, as you can see, and uh, yeah, very sunny day, um, which is good after we've had a couple of years of rain. We're just getting in our, we're just getting started on our uh, systems. But before we get on the systems, I just want to show you guys the solar setup I've got here. Um, the big power tech I've disconnected that one at the moment. And I've got these two smaller ones here. And uh, what I've done here, I've separated the two panels so they're running two p separate systems on one battery. So you can see up top there, there's two panels. Those two solar panels are now running independent. So if there's a little bit of shadow on one, it's not dragging the other one down. So uh, yeah, so they work independently. You can see, I'll just come back here a bit so you can see them on top of the roof there. So there's a big tree here, but the sun goes around the other side here, uh, winter and summer, so it doesn't affect it. But just a little bit in the morning, you get a little bit of shade. So what I've done now, I've separated them. So there's two controller panels running each uh, solar panel. And as you can see, this one's uh, flashing away. That means it's full. And you can see this one here, it's on 14.4. So the battery's absolutely full. Um, yeah, so I've independently run them. So from here, they run down to an ATM, um, AGM deep cycle battery, which I've got inside the shed down in the bottom corner here. And uh, yeah, it's working really well. You can see here, this is a timer here. This has got 16 settings on it. So I've got it running eight times a day for 10 minutes each hour, uh, each, yeah, each hour for, uh, yeah, 10 minutes for each hour and it runs for eight hours a day so the battery fills up very very quick now first thing in the morning it can stay full very good so when you get like a week of cloudy weather it just stays full even with uh, cloudy weather it just keeps chopping up the battery on the side here i've got a switch also you can see here and this switch here you click it up this is on automatic you click it down this is manually in the center it's turned off so i can run the the pumps uh, manually at any time if I wanted to turn them on but yeah I've just got these set up so I'm going to change this whole board and I'll set it up with these two and I'll put in um, uh, a fuse as well I'm going to put in a fuse and a, and a breaker as well to the battery and a fuse running to the pump so that way if there is any trouble it'll just switch off even though these are pretty well set up you know to cut off if there's any problem anyhow just to make it more safe and um, I'll put some switches up in here and I'll show you as I go There'll be five switches, so the two panels, it'll be these two, set one on each side. And then I'll run the switches under it, so I'll have two switches here, two switches here and one in the center. So the switch here will have solar, uh, solar panels, and it'll have, um, yes, yeah, so a solar, and then it'll have the, uh, sorry, and the battery and the load, so it'll be... Uh, a solar switch, a battery switch, a solar switch, a battery switch for each panel. And then it'll be a load switch in the center so I can switch the load off in the center, which is like the same one on the side here. Um, that way it's all set up. And this here will be inside the board as well. So uh, the timer. So there you go, guys. Uh, just to show you, we're just getting started now. It's uh, uh, spring now, so it's nice and sunny. We're just getting some tomatoes in now. You can see here, this one's a heavy haul. This one here. And this one here is an eggplant. That's the white eggplant, as you can see there. So, yeah. Uh, we're growing those. This here, guys, this is a galangal. It's growing pretty big. And uh, over here, these are in the floating raft system here. So, you can see here. Uh, this is all we've made. We've made all our systems here and um, in here that's a floating raft You can see here. We've got some lettuces got some bok choy There's a couple of, there's a tomato in here, but they're going really really well when the pump turns on It sucks water from this end the pump inside here. You can see this is floating raft and Runs all the water up to here and it blasts the water back in which creates oxygen So Yeah, they're doing well and uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, there's the Dutch boxes I was just showing you. There's 10 there. So we've still got some more plants to go in. If you look at the next one over here, we also do organic, but this is hydroponic. This system's all up and running now. 
but there's nothing in it. We're just germinating some seeds uh, in here. And we'll be putting them all in here. So we've got Kong Kong. Um, we've got some beans coming up. Uh, we've got uh, Kajari melon coming up. Another melon uh, will be coming as well. You can see here. Uh, this here, this is uh, uh, bok choy. And these are all just starting to germinate. And this is the Kong Kong. This is all in um, Koko Peat. Down there, we've got some beans here. The beans are dwarf beans. We bought the beans, you can see in there, they're all growing well. But in here we've also got the um, some more seeds uh, germinating in here. And the last system here, so there's four systems. <coughs> there's a last system here, so this is NFT. And you can see up top that's all kale. And the uh, beans are going to be going down in this bottom section here. So there you go guys. So yeah, just the beginning at the moment. Uh, just getting started. Um, all the systems have got a roof on them just to keep the rain out and stop them diluting. Uh, this here, this is a uh, our banana. This is uh, hydroponic. You can see it's all in clay balls, so we give it leftover nutrients. And uh, yeah, it's grown pretty big. Uh, this here, this is a lime. We use a lot of the lime leaves here. And this here, you can see that's. Um, uh, hydroponic as well that's all in clay balls and uh, yeah it's looking quite happy yeah this here also this is uh, hydroponic this is in uh, cocoa peat and this is a peach tree they normally grow pretty big but we've already cut the top and um, yeah you can see here it's growing pretty good yeah, but this uh, NFT system here, this is a larger one. Yeah, we just got it all ready. It's all up and running. Um, yeah, so everything's going really well, guys. So just want to give you a quick rundown on where we start, uh, starting at the moment for our um, uh, spring season. There you go. Let's show you the top of that one. Yeah. There you go guys, they're very very happy, it just stays full. Yeah it's a lot different to when you're running this one here, this system here, when you run the two panels together, if one panel is um, got a little bit of shade on it, pulls the other one down and um, yeah by separating them it's just so so quicker, so much faster filling up the battery. So there you go guys. Thanks for watching.